Hello, I'm going to give you a brief tutorial of how to use the OneNote note typing app. So to the right you have the sections where you can add new pages, which is what we're going to do. So just click on the page plus new page and we're going to title it demo. And you can type anywhere on the page, which is pretty handy. And then also once you typed everything out in all of the boxes, you can move it anywhere that you like. So you can also enter your lecture slides if you want to edit right on top of your lecture slides and you can also add other kinds of attachments. You can also insert things like arrows, triangles, circles, and you can change the sizes and the color of them. So my favorite feature is the draw feature. My professors like to add a bunch of diagrams and you can't just draw a diagram like you can in text. So the draw feature comes in handy so you can actually make a useful diagram. There's the pen, the marker, the highlighter. The pen is more of a finer line and the marker is a little bit thicker. You can change the color, the width, anything. You can also highlight your text with the draw feature. Also, everything that you've done can be erased with a click of a button. Just click on the eraser and click on each of the lines that you've drawn or arrows. And there, it's gone. Also, you can change the background colors and the page styles. So you can change the background color of pink or any other color. And you can also make the page style to resemble a notebook or a grid if you'd like to do math. Now when I go back home, you'll notice that everything is grayed out. I have to go back to the draw tab because I'm still in the draw feature. You have to click back on text mode to go back into the text feature. In this little box over here, you can add things to your text like uh, check boxes for a to-do list or stars to mark it as important. And that's all for this tutorial. Enjoy your OneNote app.